You were going to tell us why the needle techniques fail even worse in young children, the zero to eight range, than they do in adults before we go into further the actual technique. Of course, yes, that's really important. So most people listening to this may well have practiced this in an adult mannequin, and we're taught to uh, um, point the needle at 45 degrees to the horizontal, um, aiming downwards um, and penetrating in the cricothyroid membrane. And there's a number of reasons why that's not going to work in, a, in an infant or a small child. One reason is the cricothyroid membrane is more cranial in direction is often under the mandible it's very hard to get to and even if you can find it you're not going to be able to go in at 45 degrees you're almost going to have to go vertical so perpendicular to the to the airway so your force vector is downwards on a very collapsible structure and the tracheal rings haven't solidified in a small child so the airway is completely floppy and collapsible that's why kids get croup and adults don't and you're pushing down on a completely collapsible structure perpendicular to the skin. And the force required to penetrate the skin with the needle is greater than the force required to completely collapse the trachea. So you're inevitably going to go through a completely compressed trachea and come out the back. And if you're insufflating air through that, you're going to create massive subcutaneous emphysema and lose what chance you had of getting an airway. So it's physically impossible to get the 45 degree angle and the forces required will collapse the airway and make it virtually impossible to get the needle reliably in the lumen of the, of the airway. And the other thing is the cricothyroid membrane takes a while uh, to become big enough to get a tube through. So the, the, the longitudinal vertical diameter of the cricothyroid space is smaller than a tracheal tube until you're quite a few years of age certainly not in the infant or toddler age group you're not going to get a tube through there and there's a risk of damaging the laryngeal cartilages by trying to That's so essentially fantastic. we have to go low we have to go trachea not cricothyroid membrane and needle techniques are likely to fail so it has to be an open technique and it has to be on the trachea not the cricothyroid membrane and people always ask when can i do a cricothyroidotomy and the answer is, well, when you can obviously feel it and it feels big enough to put a tube through. And if you have um, small children in your family or, or close relatives, you know, with the child's and the parent's permissions, it's helpful when you're tickling them to, uh, to just, just have a quick feel and see if you can um, identify a cricothyroid membrane. And it's, you, the cutoff is usually around eight years old, but it's very variable.